So a few days ago, I told you about the spring, the uh, garage door spring that broke, and it's this one right there. And I went ahead and bought new springs, uh, rated at 100, 160 pound, or 150 pounds. So this is what they look like. And I bought the heaviest, one of the heaviest ones that they had because my door is made out of wood and definitely weighs a lot. Weighs about a hundred, somewhere between 140, 150 pounds. So I need the heavy duty springs. And I already installed one by the way. Which is, I don't know if you can see it right there. The uh, black one. Now, I had to lift the door all the way to the back to take out the old spring. But make sure if you do it that you hold the door with a two by four, two by four by eight foot long because if not, once you release that old spring on, on the last side, the door's going to want to roll back. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the second one. This one, they both come with this wire and you know, so you can connect to the door, but I'm not going to use it because the wire on my door, the, my current door is it's working fine. It's in good shape. Alright, so here we are again. I just received the contactor. It's about a week later, so I'm about to take out the old one and install the new one. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. No guarantee that it'll work either. So I did turn off the power to this unit, but before we go any further, I'm just going to test it. Because I don't want to get zapped here. Not today. And I also want to take a picture of the old contactor and the wires exactly where to go because I'm going to put them back in the exact same place. So I'm going to take a picture from this side and another picture from this side. So probably as I'm taking them out I just want to go ahead and insert the new wires into their respective location. Maybe that's best. So here's the old one and the new one has been installed everything's tightened up will it work I don't know but some people say third time's the charm right all right guys but in this case three strikes is an out and uh, I'm out so I'm gonna have to get some help all right guys so today or tonight I have to take my coronavirus vaccine so I'm taking the uh, the uh, Moderna so hopefully when I come out I won't have like thousands of uh, microchips flowing through my body but I'll let you know if I do so let's go get it all right so I got it gotta be quick I got the Moderna so here I am at Rite Aid, uh, not far from my house, and I gotta wait 10, 15 minutes before I can go back home, so. All right, so I'm here with the wife. There you go, she's a little shy. All right, so the vaccine's done. The government chips are doing their work throughout my body, and to treat myself. All right, guys, so I forgot to turn on the audio on my DSLR. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, open or unbox a Mavic Air. I bought this Mavic Air back in December for my trip to Peru, which was canceled. And this Mavic Air, it's a lot lighter than the Phantom that I currently have and much lighter than the old uh, Mavic 
or Mavic Pro from 2016. So there it is. There's uh, the box. Uh, and by the way, this comes with a DJI uh, smart controller. And that's the uh, car charger. And that's the SD card, the micro SD card. Now this is 128 gigabytes, which is plenty of space for me to save uh, a lot of video files. Uh, here we have uh, accessories and this is the DJI smart controller. It comes with the screen already built in. It's supposed to be super bright, a lot brighter than uh, what you will get uh, from a phone. And this is a Mavic Air. Now keep in mind, this is not the Mavic Air S, which is relatively new. This is the older one. All right one. guys, so uh, it's unboxed. And here are the, the A propellers and the B propellers go here. It's color coded, this is gray and that is black so i have yeah these two let's go ahead and install the propellers now you just push them in twist them super easy now as some of you know i had the mavic the original mavic drone uh, a couple of years ago and i lost that one and this is so much smaller than the Mavic and so much lighter. Check it out. All right guys, so here it is. We got extra propellers, car charger, memory, three battery charger, three batteries, one, two, and three. The third's right on top of the drone. And this incredible, uh, controller with the screen built in i hear it's super bright never tested one never had one before till now we got some filters for the drone camera and a charger a, char a battery charger so yeah i look forward to uh putting it up in the air maybe tonight if not i'll do it tomorrow because uh yeah it's getting kind of late today i mean it is a beautiful day here today I may go ahead and fly it, but first, I'm gonna have to charge your batteries and it's gonna take a while. So yeah, I look forward to flying this today, tomorrow, next week, next month, forever. So it's a lot, a lot lighter than the Mavic, the original Mavic that I bought in 2016 and uh, definitely much smaller and lighter than the Phantom 4. So yeah, uh, this is gonna bring me this is going to bring us a lot of video so yeah i look forward to it all right guys as i was saying that mavic air it's so small and once you take out the battery it really weighs nothing just a few ounces um, and i could definitely put it in uh or carry it on in a small very small luggage it's not gonna weigh much and yeah i think uh I'm gonna definitely enjoy that a lot more than flying the Phantom or the original Mavic. And, and like I said, that drone I bought uh, back in December uh, for another trip and I just never got to use it. Don't tell now. So the batteries are charging now. I don't think I'm gonna have time to fly tonight. If not, I'll do it uh, some other day, hopefully in the next day or two. So. So you guys have a great day, afternoon or night, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one.